You know, um, history always repeats itself. It, it always does. Human beings are not that complex. They can be, but they're really not. And um, on Friday night, before the, the night before this fight, I just happened to watch the Roy Jones Jr. versus Tarver first two fights. Now, if you saw, if you remember, Roy Jones Jr. versus Tarver won, Roy Jones Jr. at this time was clearly the best boxer in the world. He just went to heavyweight. He won the heavyweight title versus Ruiz, John Ruiz. And he went back down to light heavyweight, 175, made a hellacious cut to fight Tarver. And if you watch that fight, Jones is, you know, the speed, the power, the quickness, all these things. Tarver's the underdog. And in that fight, Tarver took a lot of the rounds because he moved, he moved, he got on the inside, he got Roy Jones against the ropes and in the corner. But then there were rounds where Tarver stopped using that strategy that won him rounds. And in the end, Roy Jones wins. Hit the like button, share this video, subscribe to this channel. Tonight you got Tank Davis versus Frank Martin. Now obviously, the parallels between tonight's fight, as I record this, and the Roy Jones Tarver one, Tank's the favorite. You know, um, you know, he has the power, he has good speed, you know, he's a he's a technician. And Martin's the underdog. And if you watch both fights, they're very similar. Now, the difference is it went to the cards and Roy Jones won on the cards. So that's the biggest difference. Um, but this fight I knew would be a good fight. And it would not be, you know, a, a six-round knockout or whatever case. You know, it went to the eighth. Tank Davis got the knockout in the eighth round. But Frank Martin made the same mistakes Tarver made. Now, Tarver fought a better fight. He's a better fighter. But it was like the same exact type of fight. So, in the first round, you know, usual first round of boxing, they're feeling things out. Martin had good pressure on Tank. Tank had his high guard. Martin had some good shots on the inside. Tank only landed three punches. But Tank Davis, he's a slow starter. And really, slow starter as far as throwing punches. He's a quick starter as far as he's calculating what you do. And, you know, it's the beginning of the game plan, which is, you know, that type of fighter is tire you out because you're going to keep moving because Tank Davis knows that you know his power and, and you know his shots. So you're going to be moving and moving and moving. And you might take the lead, but he'll take it back. And you take the lead, takes it back. So the first round, I gave that to Martin. Then the second round, the second round, you know, Martin had good movement. That, the whole fight, he had good footwork, good movement. He, he had good one-twos, but this was just like Tarver. Martin's strong points in the fight were movement, one-two, movement, one-two. The problem is he stopped doing that and he kept falling for the trap of Tank walking him into corners, walking him into the ropes. He could have won, you know, he could have won more rounds than I scored him for. Now, on the commentary, they kept saying Martin was up, Martin was up. I didn't see it that way. I thought uh, Martin was good, but I thought Tank Davis was clearly winning the majority of the rounds before the knockout. So I don't know what they were talking about on commentary. But Frank Martin fought a good fight. You know, my, my prediction was, you know, Tank might catch him in the ninth round or this will go to the cards. And um, this will be a good fight. And in that second round, like I said, Martin had good movement. He was alert. Tank Davis did have some good body shots in that second. And Martin, you know, if it, when he got to the later rounds, um, Martin would have need to have the strat strategy of catching Tank when he throws the sweeping hooks, which is tough to do because Tank Martin, um, Tank Martin, good Lord, Tank Davis, he throws a good sweeping hook, unlike Deontay Wilder. Uh, maybe maybe Tank Davis needs to train Wilder because, never mind. How does Wilder get in all of my videos? Hit the like button. Share this video. Subscribe to the channel. You can donate to the Cash App in the description if you enjoy this content. Want to support the channel? It's XDN online on Cash App. But um, I gave the second round to Tank Davis. I, it was a close round, but I'll give it to Tank Davis. So it's 1-1. One, one. The third round, a lot of the third, uh, Martin, he kind of seemed a little frozen, like he didn't want to let his hands go. You know, this is this is a round where he stopped the one-two combos that were working in the first two rounds. Um, he was kind of too on guard. 
Um, and once again, the theme of this fight was he needed to stay away from the ropes, stay away from the corners, but he kept getting walked backwards into them. And it's like, you cannot keep doing that. You cannot keep doing that. And that was his downfall at the end. I did give the third to Martin. Um, Tank Davis was in control for the beginning of the round, but then Martin, he took over at the end. So I gave that round to Martin. So Martin's up. And then from the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, I gave all those rounds to Tank. In the fourth round, Tank Davis, he was heating up. Um, in the fourth, Martin was back on the attack to begin the round. So he went back to the strategy he was working. He, he, he just went to a strategy, stopped. Went to a strategy, stopped. Um, Tank kept cutting off the ring, trapping him in the corners. Good hard shots. Um, the first round, Martin, once again, keeps getting walked back in the corners. And it was it was a death trap every time. And this is also a point of the fight where it's the fifth round. You can tell Martin, he's moving too much. He's using too much energy to move out the way. And he was going to get tired out. You could already see that coming. Um, much like Jones Jr. and Tarver won. Um, you know, Tarver was moving from shots. And then, you know, Jones Jr., he, he took over at the end and, and won the rounds and won the fight. Um, th this, this fight was so similar. It, it's so ironic. I was just watching the pre that fight the previous night and then saw this. Um, the sixth round, Martin, once again, ending up in the corner and tank made him pay every time the seventh round tank is dominating now. So he's, he's heated up. He's heating up. He's heated up. Um, towards the end of the uh, seventh round, Martin did have a good counter, but then when you got to the eighth round, tank Davis catches him, knockout, uppercut hook. It's over. Um, tank Davis jumps on the rope like a four-year-old child who just got picked up for summer vacation and he does a backflip off the ropes leonard ellerby why, why is he dressed like colonel parker from kfc or whatever his name is like, i don't i don't trust ellerby man his nostrils look like the new orleans saints logo i don't where is he from oh my god <sighs> but um this was a good fight i was i was entertained frank martin is a good fighter he fought a good fight um, I hope his team takes the right steps to keep him on the right track because he's definitely someone who should get bigger names down the road. Tank, that, that, uh, hold on. Am I messing up names up? Frank Martin is a good fighter. Tank Davis, obviously, is a good fighter. He's not the face of boxing. He was supposed to win this fight. This fight is not an accomplishment for Tank Davis. He was supposed to win it. If he lost, he, he'd he be, <laughs> come on, man. It'd be embarrassing. This was supposed to happen. You couldn't make no money on this fight unless you picked under nine and a half rounds or something, which I almost bet on. But um, you know, you know, there, there were part, there were parts of the fight. I think around the fourth, they were like the betting odds have lowered, and like it don't matter. Tank Davis is not losing this fight. But um, this was a good fight. Uh, I was highly entertained. I didn't see Floyd Mayweather nowhere. Did I miss that? <laughs> Bill, 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 Bill. Where, where, where? <laughs> Where's Mayweather? <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure he got out of Saudi Arabia. Where was he? He's in Vegas, ain't he? But um, next up, you know, and also another thing, Tank. I, I got a few things here. Tank Davis is an odd character. It's like one minute he's like he he sounds like very like unintelligent when he speaks, is half ignorant. But he is he is a, he is from Baltimore. I mean, his life is the wire. But um. But then, and then sometimes he seems very, you know, like I said, arrogant. But then other times he seems very humble when he's being interviewed by Jim Gray. And Jim Gray, he's another bootlicker. Jim Gray, oh my God, he looked like he wanted to penetrate Tank Davis. Well, he he gets so happy around. Oh my God, Jim Gray is one of the most biased interviewers ever. Okay, he used to have this hard on for Kobe Bryant. I guess his new his new boo his new his new man is Tank Davis. He likes him short and light skinned like Puffy, and um, you know, but uh, you know, Tank Davis he was supposed to get this victory. He did. Um, Jim Gray he did ask about Shakur Stevenson and you know uh, a few bigger names, and of course the usual Mayweather promotions. Oh, you know, I have to get back with my team, go back to the drawing board. You know, we came with a game plan. We did. We had to do. Thank uh, Al Heyman. Good Lord. Al Heyman is the Wizard of Oz, or Oz in the whatever. But um, you know, uh, I was very entertained by this. Um, I think Frank Martin obviously could. I think he would. 
I, I think he would definitely like destroy Roly Romero. I think he would embarrass Ryan Garcia or Ryan. What is his name? Yeah, Ryan Garcia. Yeah, the drug cheat. Ryan Garcia. Yeah, he, he'd embarrass him. Um, this is the best person that Tank Davis has ever fought to this point. And um, Errol Spence jumped in the ring. And what is another thing with Tank Davis and these boxes and just celebrities? Why do they all got these big ass fake horse teeth like Nori on Drink Champs? What is with these fake ass teeth? Oh my God, Errol Spence. He he got in the ring, or or I think, and then I think Tank Davis did like shake his hand, which was odd because weren't they like being real sassy with each other on the press conference, whatever. Um, Errol Spence. He got the nerve to show his face after getting his ass whooped a year ago. That's real bravery. But, um, yeah, that that is it. Um, This has been a, I, I said it before on this channel, this has been a good year for boxing, I think. Uh, a lot of the top fighters have gotten in the ring. A lot of uh, top fighters have fought not the best competition, but better competition. Obviously, Fury, Usyk, big fight. Joshua and Ngannou was a big fight. You know, um, you know Frank, uh, uh, Frank the Ghost Martin, you know, Tank Davis, you know, he took this fight. So uh, I, I think, you know, Lomachenko, I think there's been a good year for boxing. A lot of big fights to come. Uh, I think the biggest fight this year, well, the next big fight, I, if it's this year, you know, I heard Fury Usyk in December, maybe. I don't know about that one. Um, you know, last year after uh, Crawford whooped Spence, uh, the, re the rematch is December and it's never happened, but whatever. Um, I want to see Joshua versus Daniel Dubois. Uh, in Wembley Stadium. Now, that's a spectacle waiting to happen. That would be a hell of a fight. I think Anthony Joshua will go through him. Um, it might be like a very similar to this fight. Um, but yeah. But uh, uh, that's pretty much it. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And that is it.